My name is Sylvie van den Abel and uh, I'm a last year PhD student working here at Swansea University in the uh, Department of Biosciences. So I'm part of this team called SMART, which, is, which stands for Swansea Moving Animal Research Team. So the SMART is part of the College of Science here at Swansea University. We work on mainly the um, wild animals in their environment using the new technology, so transmitters, loggers, uh, GPS, um, all these kind of uh, devices. But we put on the animal and then it tells us all about what they do in their environments. I got the chance to do my master's degree project here in Swansea. And uh, it, it was in collaboration with the RSPCA to develop a method that could help them to um, assess the, the survival rates of the birds they, they have, injured birds and old birds, and, uh, and they want to know how they do in the wild then after they've been um, healed and released. And uh, one aspect of this, um, is, which is quite critical, is how much this technology that we use can impact the, actu the, the animals. And so my PhD, um, we couldn't cover all the, the species in just three years. So uh, we decided to focus on seabirds. We looked at which kind of effects uh, these devices could have. Based on this, we would come up with methods that would be improved or totally new to sort of still have the chance to study them using these, de these tracking devices but with minimal impact. And that includes the device itself but that includes as well the way we attach this device to the animals. For birds obviously um, because they, they at some point uh, lose their feathers, they molt. We need to have something that can stay on the bird and is not just attached to the feathers, so that's probably the, on, the only way is to use a harness. There are some studies now that uh, are published and report injuries and even um, animal death uh, from, from having these harnesses on birds. Uh, and now we are developing something still based on the harness, the harness concept but using a totally new material, which is actually something that comes from uh, medical industry and it goes also under the plumage. So it's not only uh, following the contours of the birds, making it um, invisible because under the plumage, but it's stretchable as well. So it sort of, when the, if the bird uh, puts on weight, it, it would not apply too much uh, pressure on it either. We worked on attachment methods, but also on the on the devices themselves. And one amazing tool we got to to use here in Swansea uh, is called the the wind tunnel. It's something we use in um, aeronautics uh, with airplanes and and stuff. And and. I got the chance to collaborate with them and use this amazing facility where I had my uh, cormorant model, I called it George. It's made of wood and I placed on it different type of devices, different sizes, different shapes and the positions. And we, we measured what we call the drag, which is the resistance in the air and, uh, and to, to know which shape, which position would be of minimal drag for the bird, which is actually what we are looking for uh, in terms of uh, uh, these tracking devices we want to use on, on animals later on. And that's something that is particularly important for the future because of all this uh, it's a it's a growing area this uh, animal tracking uh, field and more and more people want to do um, long long term studies particularly on birds this harness is something that many people are actually interested in we hope that they will help us get into the point where we can 
um, produce in large quantities this uh, tracking system, including the harness, to be deployed on many, many species and be able to to tell their life, their stories. Each time I'm actually holding a bird, I'm, I'm remembering when I was a kid, hoping that I would do that one day. I went this summer to the island of um, called Grassholm, where you have one of the largest colonies of, uh, of gannets. Uh, I got to travel, I got to meet um, amazing people um, everywhere in the world. Uh, and not only um, abroad, but actually the people in my team are actually really, really nice people as well, and they are more than colleagues, they are, they are friends. I learned so much thanks to them, uh, thanks to, to my study, uh, and um, yeah, so I'm really, really grateful. We, we started on birds, but we are planning to build harnesses for everything, anything, so be ready.